Heaven Visit by Brother Richard Antoy, on the 21st of October 2013, the Lord God revealed himself to me, telling me he would be traveling with me, I didn't know the kind of journey he was talking about, after attending a conference in Nigeria held by Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide, I came back to Ghana on the 17th of December, while on my way back in the vehicle I started experiencing a very severe headache, I took medicine but it did not help, when I arrived home the pains was so unbearable that I took medication again but it didn't help, the following day I woke up in the morning and went to my workplace, normally I finished late in the night around 11 pm, but on that day because of the pains I had to finish around 8, I went home early to get medication but I could not see it where I left it, then I started feeling cold, I took blanket to cover myself, but before I realized it something blew away the cover from my body, I couldn't understand what was going on, while I was struggling to cover myself I realized that I was already out of my body, I saw my body lying on the bed and I was standing beside my body, immediately I noticed the Lord Jesus Christ standing not far from me. The Lord said to me, Richard, our journey has just began, immediately we started moving outside my house to the fronting, when we got out I saw that the whole place was so dark that I couldn't see anything, I shouted Jesus. I cannot see anything, then the Lord enabled me to see everything though it was dark, strangely I saw that there was no more house in my neighborhood apart from my home. The place was so dry and empty, then the Lord held me and we started our journey to heaven. In fact we were moving at a very high speed, we were moving at a prodigious speed faster than an airplane, I remember when we were moving we met a multitudes of people on the way, they were also on the journey to heaven, when I saw people on the way to heaven like us I felt relaxed, I said after all I am not the only person making this journey. When we went farther, I saw a group of people, they were men, women and their children. Men and women were holding each other hands and their children were by their sides, I realized that these people were stopped from moving forward by rope that was serving as a barricade, the Lord said, these people cannot go beyond this barricade, they think they are serving me, but they won't even discipline their children, they are not able to train their children in my way so that their children will also come to know and serve me, the Lord said. These are the kind of parents who will always go and fight on behalf of their children, even if the children do wrong, and if somebody disciplines their children they will go and fight that person, Jesus said again, these parents know what the Bible say in terms of raising children in the Lord but they have failed, until they repent they cannot go beyond the barricade and progress to the gate of heaven, when we left these group of people we met another group of people on the way, there was a very big rock before them. On this rock was the inscription Jesus Christ, I saw these people going around the rock, then I saw in the houses of these people things like oil, canes, handkerchiefs, water, I asked the Lord what was the meaning of this. The Lord said, these are the people who have placed their trust in these things, they go to pastors and so called prophets to get oil, water and handkerchief and they have placed their trust on these things instead of relying on me the rock of ages therefore they cannot move from where they are, they are barricaded with this rock, if they change their lifestyles and they trust in me, then they will be able to continue the journey to the gate of heaven, but we have to leave them and move forward, when we went a little further we met a group of people who was on their way to the gate of heaven, but they were also stopped by a barricade, the Lord said to me, these are the people who cannot forgive their brothers and sisters who offended them, many of them claim to have forgiven those who offended them, but in their heart they never forgive, they did not release people that they are holding in their heart, they knows that they have not forgiven those who offended them, as consequence they cannot advance to the golden city, that is why they are stuck there on the road, although they think that they are moving to heaven, the Bible say, if you do not forgive others, then your father will not forgive your transgressions, then we went farther and we met another group at a roadblock, the Lord said, these are people whose hearts are full of lies, they have to lie because it is their ways of life, therefore they cannot continue on the journey into the glorious city, among this group of liars I saw many pastors in clerical suit, this group of liars were many and some were holding mobile phones which they used in order to practice lies, these people lie so easily on the phone, 
therefore they cannot move forward. On their journey to heaven they were stuck at this barricade, then we went a little further we met another group, the Lord says, these people have double lifestyles, they are liars, and at the same time they also steal from my church, within my church they practice lie and they steal, that is why they are stuck at this roadblock, they cannot make it to heaven unless they repent. I saw many pastors in clerical suit and many church members who believe that they are serving the Lord, but they were stuck in this roadblock and they could not move forward because of their double lifestyle. The next group of people that we saw were singles, the bachelors and spinsters, the Lord said, these are bachelors and spinsters they were supposed to serve him, but they wanted to be friend of the world, and their lifestyles are not pleasing him, they cannot make it to heaven unless they separate from the world. When we went further we met a group of men and women holding their hands, they were married couples, but there was a barricade before them, the Lord said, yes these are married couples who always have an excuse for not attending the church service, they always find excuse in order to avoid attending churches and serving God, for that reason they cannot make it because they love themselves more than the work of God, you cannot love anything in this world more than Jesus Christ, when we went farther. We met a group of people stopped by a rope, the Lord said these are prostitutes, I asked Jesus in what way? The Lord said, they are prostitutes in the sense that they caused other to fornicate in their hearts, my people lust after them because of the way they dress in the church and the world, on many occasions they cause lust in the hearts of many people, as a result they are causing people to be in fornication in their mind. For this reason they are stopped by this thin rope and they cannot make it to heaven unless they repent of their sins. When we went further I saw a multitude of people blocked by a barricade, the Lord said, these are people who love entertainment more than me. They love football to the point of idolatry, when there is a football match they will prefer football instead of going to church. They love sitting behind the TV for entertainment program, forgetting about my work or coming to church. They love so many games. They love entertaining themselves more than attending to things of the kingdom of heaven, and for that reason they cannot make it to heaven. So when we went farther we saw a stream or a river ahead of us, on this stream were some flowers grown with thorns, and many people were afraid to cross that stream or river, yet they had to cross it in order to get to the other side of the river, but every time anyone steps on the thorns, they could not bear the pain and they were coming out of the stream. So people were standing around this river, the Lord said, these people cannot cross it because these are people who don't want to go through persecution for the sake of my kingdom. They will love to remain here, they will avoid speaking the truth if this will result in suffering. They always want to be themselves and enjoying life. They wouldn't like going through any challenge for the sake of the kingdom of my father, that is why they prefer to be stationed here. They will be stationed here until they repent so let's leave them, they think that they are on their way to heaven but they are barricaded here behind this stream or river, when we bypassed this stream and we went farther, we then arrived around a very big river, it was so big that you cannot see the end, and there were few people standing by that place, in fact, when I saw this river I was afraid, because I am not used to rivers and seas, the Lord told me, this is where you are going to remain until you are able to cross the river, the Lord told me, it's because of fear that you will be stuck here, you are afraid of propagating my word and tell people what I am telling you, because you are afraid of what people may say and think about you, you are going to remain here until you repent from this attitude. Beloved the Bible say, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. When the Lord was speaking about my failure to evangelize I started to plead to him, then then the Lord provided a staircase. He asked me to walk on that staircase in order to cross to the other side and meet him there, I said Lord, you know I am afraid of crossing rivers, but the Lord asked me to use the ladder, I tried to cross through the ladder, but because of fear I fell in the river, I managed to swim to the river bank, when I got there, I saw the Lord Jesus standing there. He held my hand and welcomed me, at that very moment my garment got changed, everything about me got transformed, I put on a glorified body, my fingernails turned into glass like fingernails, in fact my appearance became like that of Jesus, immediately I saw a beautiful gate ahead of us, and on this gate I saw the inscription, 
holiness and righteousness, this was a golden gate very nice, so we proceeded towards the gate, when we got there the gate opened by itself, when we entered I stepped on the golden streets, I heard melodious songs going on, I saw angels jubilating, I could hear trumpets blowing all over the city, there was a great joy over in the eternal kingdom, I started jubilating like angels, when they saw me coming with the Lord they bow, but I did not mind angels bowing to the Lord, I was really enjoying myself over there, then I said to myself I am not going back to earth, I am going to plead to the Lord to let me in this place because there is great joy over here, Amen. On Monday the 27th of January 2014 in the night I was praying, I decided to pray for some brethren in the church, and while praying and interceding, I saw that my usual headache had started again, the way it was developing I said to myself let me lay down in order to reduce the pain, before laying down I walked to the place where I keep my medications, while going there I fell on my carpet in my room and when I fell down all of a sudden my spirit came out of my body, I saw my body lying idle on the ground and my spirit was standing in front of my house, while standing there I heard like a voice telling me to stretch my hand toward the heavens, when I did that I saw another hand from heaven touching my hand, this hand started pulling me gradually to the sky, in the beginning it was a bit slower, but later on it started speeding up, we were going in a very high speed, the hand that was pulling me into the sky and took me to a level in the air, it was like we had landed into a compound, in that place I saw two angels, they were really resplendent angels and very glorious, when they saw me, they said, Richard you are the one we are waiting for, at that moment I heard a small voice behind me saying, Richard, do not listen to them, the voice spoke only once, I did not know what to make of it, I was welcomed by these brightening angels when all of a sudden a staircase appeared to my left, it was going to heaven. The angel began to climb the staircase and they instructed me to follow them. But while we were climbing towards the top of this staircase I started feeling a strong heat coming towards us, and I started to complain about the heat, the angels told me not to worry, all will be fine, later on we got to a point where I saw a deep valley, I saw fire burning in that valley. I stood with these two brightening angels on top of this valley observing a river of fire, when I was contemplating the deep valley with fire which seems like the lake of fire that the Bible talks about, immediately I saw the two shining angels who were escorting me turning into something like beasts, they took the shape of black bats with tails, no wonder, Satan their master can disguise himself as an angel of light, I saw these angels that had turned to beast holding me very firmly. They began to pull me in order to throw me into that valley that was full of fire, at that moment I shouted the name of Jesus Christ. Immediately I saw a hand that grabbed me from them, it was the hand that I saw initially in my house, this hand dropped me into another compound, when the hand placed me to this new compound, I saw brightening angels dancing and they were coming towards me. When I saw them coming to me I started running away because I was scared of what the early two angels did to me, these jubilant angels started calling me, they said, Richard, do not run away, but I was still running away from them, and they told me, it is your friend and Lord Jesus Christ who sent us to come and meet you and take you to him, when I heard these angels mentioning the name of Jesus Christ I stopped running away, I was reassured that these were the angels of the Lord so I follow them and I began to explain to them what happened to me on my way to heaven, they said, Richard, whenever you are coming to heaven do not listen just to any voice, especially when you get to that level of void where you met the two angels of darkness, they are forces in operation in that void, if you listen to them you will always get lost, that is what has been happening to many people, there are many voices over there and when you are not careful when you get to that level and you listen to them you get lost, so whenever you are coming to heaven be careful when you get to that point, when we went a little farther with these angels I saw the glorious pearly gates of heaven in distance, I could read the inscription written on the gate that says holiness and righteousness, when we got to the gate, I was clothed with celestial garment, and I was transformed, my body was turned to a glorified body, then the gate opened for us, when I entered the gate of heaven I was overwhelmed with unspeakable joy. In fact I stepped on the golden street and started moving and enjoying myself, but to my amazement.
The mansions that I saw on both sides of the Golden Streets were diverse, some were completed but some were in construction, some were at the beginning stage, but most of them were not completed. I was observing these mansions when I noticed that the two angels that was by my side went on their knees, when I lifted my head in order to observe them I realized that they were on their knees because the Lord Jesus Christ was in front of us, I saw the Lord Jesus standing there in front of us, afterward I saw the two angels vanishing they disappeared, I was by the side of the Lord when I noticed bare land before us, I saw lands without anything on them, yet they were names attached to those lands people's names were attached to those empty lands, the Lord Jesus then asked me about my visit, and I said to him that I came to visit him but he said that was not the case, then the Lord touched my head, as a result my memory came onto his hand, and when Jesus waved his hand a screen appeared before us, when this screen appeared, I saw the names of people that I was interceding for on this screen, Jesus said, this is the reason why you came here, he began to explain to me what follows, the Lord took me to the house of a brother that I was interceding for, I was always mentioning him in my prayer, he showed me his house and said, look at his original house that have collapsed 15 years ago, but it is only now that he has started rebuilding it, I noticed that the house that the Lord was talking about was at the window level, the Lord then took me to another place and he showed me the house of another brother that I was interceding for, in fact, the Lord told me that his original house collapsed 11 years ago, and it is now that he has started rebuilding it, and it was at the foundational level, then the Lord took me to a place that was an empty land, there was a name on it, a construction was supposed to start on this land that was allocated to a sister and had her name on it, then the Lord took me to a house of a brother, this mansion was a completed, but a portion of the house was broken, but by the Lord's grace this brother that I used to pray for, has recently gathered materials for repair, the Lord showed me beams, gold, diamond that was supposed to be used as construction material, afterward the Lord took me to another house of a brother that I was praying for, it was a completed palace, but a portion of this mansion had collapsed, the Lord said it was a result of too much worry of the things of this world, that is why part of this house had collapsed but if he can set his mind on the Lord, if he can have trust and have faith to the Lord, then definitely he is going to get materials to repair the portions his house that has collapsed, the Lord took me to a house that it was damaged, I could only see two pillars, two golden pillars that was holding the house that it was broken, the condition of these golden pillars were not good at all, the Lord said it was a result of the cares or the worries of this world, if she stop worrying she trust in me, she will get materials to erect these pillars again, the Lord took me to the house of another brother that I was praying for, it was a completed house, but it has not been decorated yet with his desired colors, the Lord said, he talked too much, and if he can reduce his talking, he will surely receive the needed colors that was supposed to be used to decorate the house for him, the Lord then took me to the mansion of brother that I was praying for, it was a very big mansion, a very nice one, completed, very nice, when we enter his house the Lord showed me some damage on the staircase, the Lord said, his zeal has reduced, it is going down little by little, if he can rekindle his zeal, the damage on his house will be repaired, it happened on a Wednesday on the 16th of April 2014 after evening service, I was with my brethren that I have been praying with, when the angel of the Lord appeared and took me to hell, in that dreadful place I was tortured by demons, they removed my eyes from their socket and they cut my tongue, I went through torture, my eyes and my tongue were two members of my body that were causing me to sin, that is why demons cut my tongue and my eyes, the Bible say, if your hand or your foot causes you to fall into sin, cut it off and throw it away, it is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than to have two hands and two feet and be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to fall into sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the fire of hell. While I was in that dark place among lost souls I heard a footstep coming toward me, immediately the whole place started shaking and I started hearing my tormentors shouting in terror, as if something terrible was about to befall them, they were shouting in a struggling manner, I couldn't see them but could hear them, 
I could hear that they were shouting as if they were helpless, the whole place was shaking, and then I heard that footstep coming where I was, then all of a sudden I began to rise up, I didn't know what was happening to me, I had no eyes to see, my body was rising up gradually and going up from where I was, as my body was being lifted up, I was feeling the heat of the place, first it went up, then it was gradually reducing, until my body got to a point where I could feel a kind of breeze, a very fresh air breezed on me and I was feeling better now than previously, yet I couldn't see anything, so I didn't know where I was, and all of a sudden, I heard a voice talking to me, and the voice said, Richard, I have to give you a new body, a new tongue and new eyes, when the voice spoke, I recognized it as the voice of my Lord Jesus Christ that I encountered previously, he said, Richard, I have to give you new eyes, then he touched the socket of my eyes, I could feel that he was fixing them, when he had finished fixing them, I could feel my eyes in their socket but I could not see, then the Lord said, Richard, open your eyes and look at me, so I opened my eyes, and to my amazement I realized that I could see, in fact I saw myself in a very nice golden room, very shiny, glorious golden room, and just by my side was standing the Lord Jesus Christ, he was wearing doctor's uniform and he was holding medical instruments. He was the doctor, and he was dealing with me with these medical instrument, when my eyes opened I was amazed by this very serene place I found myself in, a very glorious place, when I saw that the Lord was standing by me, I asked the Lord, how did you manage to know that I was in that bit of hell? The Lord said, it was the angel that I sent to bring you from the earth that came to report to me that you've fallen into the pit of the sinners, I knew that you were in that pit, and that you were suffering over the, therefore I had to send Michael to come and rescue you, it was my angel Michael that got there in the pit of hell to rescue you, when my servant Michael entered the pit of hell the whole place shook, and our enemies were scattering here and trying to find a secure place to hide. My servant Michael got there where you were tormented and rescued you and brought you to me, afterward the Lord held my hand and we went out of that room where I found myself at first, when we stepped out of that room immediately my heavenly garment came upon me, I was looking so glorious, when we stepped out I saw that we enter at my heavenly mansion, it was really nice, it was a golden mansion, it was decorated in red and white which were my favorite color. In front of my mansion I saw two angels stationed there, and the Lord took me to these two angels so that they would take me around, when we went a little further I saw a mountain of gold, I climbed the golden mountain and I started jumping from one place to the other, I was so happy, at this point I forgot all the pain that I went through in hell, I want to tell you if you serve the Lord very well, a great day is coming for you, no matter whatever you are going through on this earth you will forget your trials and tribulation, the Bible says, the Lord God Almighty will wipe away all of our tears, when I was jumping from one point to another, the two angels told me, Richard your time is running out, but I did not bother them because I was enjoying myself, I was so much happy in this celestial city of light that I did not listen to what the angels were saying to me, because of ecstasy and rapture of joy, afterward the angel of the Lord said to me, let us go a little farther, then we traveled to a part of heaven that was full of children, it was really a big place with so many children, in fact, these children were looking glorious, if you are not careful you will mistake them for angels, you may think that they were angels, they were playing all over the place and I joined them, we all started playing and jumping here and there, and the angels also joined us and we were all enjoying ourselves, we were really happy we were glorifying our Saviour Jesus. Beloved we need to train our children in the Lord, let us bring our children up in the way of the Lord, so when they grow even they will not depart, but even when they die young they will have this opportunity. Children were so glorious, jumping, playing, they were so happy. The angel told me, Richard, these were innocent children on earth, that is why they are here enjoying, I want to tell you they were so glorious. I'm challenging all parents that we should bring up our children in the fear of the Lord, even while they are young so that if the Lord takes them while they are young they will come to this glorious, place, and enjoy themselves, they were so glorious that I cannot describe it, it's beyond description, while standing there in children territory the Lord Jesus appeared, when he appeared, he told me, 
Richard, your time is up, he told me, Richard, now you've gotten a new body, new eyes, new tongue and esophagus, but you've given up all that belonged to the enemy, Jesus said you were using your eyes to watch that which was of the enemy, that is why it was removed from their socket, your tongue that you were using against your neighbor has been removed from you, this means that I have delivered you from the property of the enemy, you gave the devil what belonged to him. That is why I am taking this opportunity to advise you brethren and my dear listener, let us do away with all the lifestyles of the enemy and take on the heavenly one, because that alone can take us to heaven, or else on that day you may think that you were a good Christian that had served God, but because you are still possessing the property of the enemy, the devil will reclaim it, you'll have to go and give it to him in that pit and it will be too late for you, it will be a terrible time. I pray that you will give your life and every sector of yours to Christ now, the Lord told me, Richard, now that you have gotten new eyes, new tongue, new body, you have to go back and continue your journey that you have already started back on earth, when the Lord said that, immediately I found myself in a place I could not recognize is, not knowing that I was back in my physical body, I was not happy at all when I saw that I had come back in my physical body. I always say that we have no place here, this earth is not our home, let us all focus on things from above, the Bible say, beloved, I urge you as foreigners and exiles, to abstain from the desires of the flesh, which war against your soul. Conduct yourselves with such honor among the Gentiles that, though they slander you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits us, when the vision resumed. I saw the Lord Jesus standing in the borderland of the kingdom of heaven, when I got to him he held my hand and welcomed me, at that very moment my garment got changed, everything about me got transformed, my fingernails turned into glass like fingernails, in fact my appearance became like that of Jesus, immediately I saw a beautiful gate ahead of me, and on this gate I saw the inscription, holiness and righteousness, this was a golden gate very nice one. So we proceeded towards the gate, when we got there the gate opened by itself, when we entered I stepped on the golden streets, I heard melodious songs going on, I saw angels jubilating, I could hear trumpets blowing all over the city, there was a great joy over in the eternal kingdom, I started jubilating like angels, when they saw me with the Lord they bow, but I did not mind the angels bowing to the Lord, I was just enjoying myself over there, then I said to myself, I am not going back to earth, I am going to plead to the Lord to let me in this place because there is great joy over here, while I was jubilating, the Lord Jesus came and held my hand trying to ask me to move, I said Lord I am happy here, moment later the Lord said Richard let's go, we have to see something, we went forward and then we saw a very beautiful lady sitting in front of a house, she was dressed in a Muslim way, when I saw the lady I asked the Lord, please Lord can I speak to this lady? The Lord said, yes I give you the chance you can do so, when I went to the lady she welcomed me nicely, she was full of heavenly joy, she gave me a very beautiful chair made from diamond, then we were served food by the angels of the Lord, the angels were serving us some celestial fruits, while we were enjoying the fruits we started chatting, I asked the lady how she managed to come to such a place as a Muslim because I could see from her dressing that she wore that she was Muslim, I was curious to find out how she managed to come to heaven as a Muslim, when I asked her about it she started laughing, she asked of my name, I said, I'm Richard, she told me she used to live at a place that I knew very well, I was surprised when she mentioned that place because it was a Muslim's area, she told me she was born in a Muslim family, she got married to a Muslim and she was the fourth wife his husband, in fact, she believe in Islamic doctrine according to which, when you are a second, third, or fourth wife you are not supposed to be jealous of any of your husband wife, but because she was the fourth wife she was always jealous about the first or, or second wife, because her husband takes care of them in a special way, so she was all the time thinking about this situation, until one day she came across a pastor who was preaching in her town which is the second capital of Ghana. The pastor spoke against being a second, third, fourth wife, as consequence she got worried and concerned about her position as a fourth wife, so she decided to put an end to it, she went and informed the husband that she could no longer be in that marriage, 
she said when she informed the husband. Initially the husband did not take it kindly. But at a certain point the husband agreed to it. However when she decided to give her life to Christ and attended church, her relative rose up against her. They started fighting against her for leaving Islamic religion to a Christian religion. And then the husband also came in again and asked her family to give back everything he paid as dowry for her marriage. Thank God her pastor was helping her new faith in that difficult period, the pastor was the one that was taking care of her, in fact things were not easy with her financially, as she couldn't pay back that dowry, his former husband killed her, when she died, she found herself in the kingdom of heaven, the Lord accepted her spirit and today she is in heaven as a result of accepting Jesus Christ as her personal Lord and Savior, that is why she is here in this city of light, as we were talking. I looked at other people in this neighborhood of the eternal kingdom, and I saw a handsome young man, when I went to this young man he welcomed me, and we started chatting as I did with the first lady, this young man told me he was called Thomas and he was from the African country of Senegal while on earth, then he started telling me what brought him into heaven, the man told me that he came from a Christian home, they were doing good in Christ, he was promoted at his workplace, as a result colleague at the workplace worked juju against him, as consequence he became paralyzed, he couldn't walk any longer, when he couldn't walk any longer, the family tried as much as they could but there was no solution, they decided to take him to these special priest and juju people, but he decided not to go because Jesus Christ has been everything to him since childhood, so he could not abandon Jesus and go to such a place. The family members became annoyed because he refused going to go with them, so they abandoned him. When the family members abandoned him, he went to the church. The church family accepted him on the premises, that was where he was staying and doing everything, until one day he was struck by a severe and serious sickness that caused him to die. When he died before he could realize it he, he landed in heaven. This is how he ended up in this golden city. I was still in this neighborhood when I saw another noble man, in fact, this man was looking so wonderful and glorious, he was wearing a crown, I went to this man after leaving Thomas, I went to this man in order to talk to him and know what brought him to this celestial world, he said to me that he was a pastor in a ministry, and since he joined that ministry as a pastor, every mission and outreach took him to remote areas, he has been in the remotest areas. He was all the time transferred from one village to another, but he lived there and accepted the challenge, he never complained about the place he was sent, sometime he had to farm and even feed some of the church members. He took care of them, he gathered them and prepared them for Christ, that is what he was doing and while he was working one day he became sick, then the Lord called him home, that is how he landed in this glorious and eternal kingdom of heaven,